Group hug. Hi guys and welcome back to Les Confess. Rosie, what have we got this week? I have no idea. Like normally that's the- <laughs> Whoa, 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 I got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on this week. There are some that made me feel kind of nasty emotions, like some is just awe. You know, I'm like, wow. People have been being kinky. Oh, it's kinky it's... season, is it? Yeah, definitely. So well, it is Pisces season. You know what they say about fish? They're slippery. And really kinky. And very full of omega-3. Hit me with the first one. My girlfriend and I were living in different cities, and so we often had to meet up in town. This was at the start of the relationship. Excuse me, she knows. So we really couldn't keep our hands off each other. We went into toilets in spoons in the train stations to get it on before I had to catch my train home. So what I'm hearing is they didn't have anywhere to get it on. It's hygienic. Have you ever done that? In the Spoons toilets? Yeah. No. Cool. We've been to the Spoons toilets, I mean. Yeah, just to go to the toilet not though. got kinky there, but I like a Spoons, you know, it has a nice carpet, nice beer mat smell. It was a Friday after five, so it's quite busy and we didn't know, but we were in the only stall that wasn't blocked. So after a few minutes, a queue of people started to gather outside. I love where the Spoons. One older woman then started banging on the door asking if I was okay and telling another woman to get the bartender. We were too shit scared to say anything, so we sat there hoping that they would go away or think that it was broken. They didn't. They just kept banging on the door more. So we finally opened the door and I had to pretend that we were smashed and I had the shits and she was there to help me. Great plan. There was a huge queue of people in the tiny bathroom. It was disgusting as well. Watching two girls walking out getting judged by everyone in there. We ran away and never went back. Still made her come twice though. Would you get it on with me in the Weatherspoons toilet? Only if it's blocked. I feel like no one. Is is it okay to say should ever get it on in a public toilet? But we did. We are not no one. Right. Okay, we are the exception. <laughs> we are the exception. Right. I just feel like it's not hygienic environment. It's not. It's but who cares, I guess? If you haven't seen your partner for so long and, and you've really, got nowhere to go. And you need to make her come at least twice, then maybe a blocked toilet in spoons is the only place you can go. And I did make you come in that toilet and at the shower in the gym. Okay. Where would you yeah. do it public? If you wanted to. Oh. Out of all the like restaurant pub pub chains, I wouldn't pick spoons to have sex in. I'd pick a Carluccio's. Maybe a Pizza Express. Ooh. You know what I mean? Not a McDonald's, not a spoon. Definitely not a McDonald's. Maybe a ZZ's. Oh, who do you think you are? Can I say though, that was a fantastic immediate lie to pretend that they were drunk and had diarrhea. Would you have made that lie up? On I the spot? Would, wouldn't have been quick enough. No, I could What would have your lie been? I would have said, someone's dead! And I would have been like, yeah. Um, you know, you rushed us and she, she's, she's dead. I would have said, my partner has narcolepsy. No, being dead is better. Harder to fake though, don't you feel? Yeah, and also it's a real cost to the emergency services. Also someone might have to come in with a chalk and draw around the body. <laughs> You're right, I didn't mm. even think of forensics. Mm. So another one with distance. Yes. My girlfriend and I hadn't seen each other in over a month and a half and so hadn't exactly been keeping it trimmed down there. Oh. We spent half an hour taking it in turns to dig around and pull out the pew around her bum hole and put them on a white surface to see who had pulled out the longest one. Probably one of the most disgusting things we've ever done. The level of comfort we have around each other is worrying. I've shaved your asshole before. Why did you do that? Before laser hair, you said, Rose, can you just get that little bit? And I said, sure. Yeah, you would, you would. What are you calling little, Rosie? What dream are you living in? We would shave each other's No, I holes. shaved my own. It was fine. I can do things. Who is the real winner here? Oh, that's a really good question. Mm. Long or short? I'd say sure, Shorts. but it depends how into hair you are. Apparently you guys love it. Fun fact, when I started my beauty therapy course all those years ago, they said to me, oh, you have to grow out all your hair because we have to use each other to wax, start growing it now. Yeah. They're like, stop shaving everywhere. Right. So I was like, oh, okay. So I stopped shaving it. Yeah. And when it was time for me to wax, the teacher came in and looked at me and said, it's too long. And I was like, oh, I just did what you said. Like you told me to put the razor down. And so I did. She was like, too long, you have to trim it first. And she was like, no, make her trim it herself. Do you ever think you were actually a little bit abused by everybody you've ever met. This is a really interesting one. Okay. I'm bisexual and came out around two years ago. Okay. I haven't ever done anything sexual with a girl apart from the odd kiss on the lips as a dare in secondary school. Love that. Soon after I came out, I went on a weekend away for a tournament with my netball team. So lesbian. That's already hot. So netball hot. team. Did I join the netball team? Was it hot? No, I, I was the, probably the gayest one there. As part of the weekend, we shared a dorm with one other person. Mm. I was in a dorm with a double bed and was sharing it with a girl who I kind of knew, but not very well. Hot. On the first night, we stayed up late in the dark, lying in bed, talking about our sexuality and sexual experiences. Why were you talking about that, hot? Oh, it gets hotter. She said she thought she was straight, but wouldn't want to rule out being queer or want to settle down with a man until she had got with a girl at least once. Okay. I said I wanted to get with a girl too, as I never had. Oh. She went in there. After we both said this, we just laid there in silence and I 
thought, are we going to kiss now? I think that if I tried it on with her, she would have gone for it. But I was too scared to, as I was worried it would make the rest of the weekend awkward if she said no. She was really hot, and I regret not trying it on with her, and I'm yet to find a girl help. That's one of those situations <sighs> that you regret if you don't, but I think there could possibly have been regret if you do. I think you did the right thing not doing anything to you. That's just because I live on the edge of caution. Is that mm. how you say caution? Yeah, she normally says caution like courgette. Yeah. Sounds like she was gagging though, doesn't it? So I want to know a bit more backstory. Like how did they end up being the ones to share the bed? So my mum, me and my neighbour were arguing like crazy. And he said a lot of homophobic stuff to me. But his girlfriend at the time was constantly flirting, texting me nudes and everything. What? And she asked me to come round when he was at work. And we slept together four times in one night. Like, oof. And she ended it with him. Well, calm as a bitch. She's my girl now. Fuck you, straight guy. How can we even girlfriend. unpack this? I mean, he was homophobic. He was homophobic. He was homophobic. Right. I hate homophobic people. Same. You know, I'm also scared of foam. I get it. I get uh, why you yeah. be homophobic. I've got FOMOphobic, where I'm scared of FOMO. That joke was nearly there, wasn't it? Why do you think it wasn't there? <laughs> because I've been mean to you all day because you said something really horrible about the Valentine's Day gift, the Simpsons art, that I got for you, and I've had it on me ever since. She's been being real mean. It's quite sexual, not gonna lie, quite sexual. I, I like it when you're mean. At the same time, I don't, so if you could just not. Okay, I've I have been won't. a bad girl. I mean, can we get away with that? 30? Yeah, I think Oh, you can. am I not a girl anymore? Is that what he's saying? <laughs> Fuck you. I think it's great, you know, a straight guy got so screwed over. Also, don't be homophobic. That's just really the lesson, isn't it? Yeah. And also, girlfriend's gay. How can you not know that? I mean, how did Ross Geller not know that his wife was gay? I know. It was my 18th birthday on February 28th. I went out to a party with a few mates and my girlfriend who's 16. We've been together for almost five months and her parents are completely unaware. At some point in the night, drama started, which led to a majority of people there leaving. Police showed up and started to search everyone they found class A drugs on my girlfriend. My heart stopped and I immediately took the claim and said that they were mine and she had nothing to do with it. Doesn't matter, possession's possession. Basically, <laughs> we all ended up in the police station on my birthday for six to seven hours. Sexy. Her parents had to come to pick her up, which led to her less confessing, nice, about her relationship to them. I'm not allowed to see her until all this is over. Fuck. And even then, I might not ever see her again. I'd do anything to be able to go back to the way things were before. I got arrested for possession of class A and B drugs my 18th birthday and ended up in the back of a police transit with two of my close mates and my girlfriend. What a way to spend an 18th. I mean, first of all, that is a way to spend an 18th birthday, isn't yeah. it? I mean, wow. What I want to know is, was it like on the Elwood season one when everyone got arrested and Bet and Candace Jewell separately fucked each other in the cell? Was it anything like that? Because that would be the silver lining, wouldn't it? Otherwise, that's a really terrible birthday. Would I take the blame for you? Why should I go down for you? Are you saying you won't go down for me? When it comes to crime, there are no jokes, okay? After that Valentine's Day comment that you gave to me over there on the floor, not only would I not take the blame for the drugs, I'd actually plant them on you. Next one. But then I'd be in prison. Next one. Right, this is a very quick one. I don't wear makeup and I never have. I right. do have a set of makeup brushes though, and I had to buy some makeup to stop people asking me why. The truth is, they're just for masturbating with. I'm sure she uses the wand end of the brushes, but does she use the brush end to tickle herself? Does that feel good? Does she brush around her bum hole? Sweeps. Sweeping around. And then in with the wand. Wow. What kind of brushes? Because all makeup brushes I see are quite thin bristly. and small or bristly or sharp. Link me and I can uh, I can really unpack that. Maybe she likes them thin and small. What's the strangest thing you've ever used? Do you remember when we were at my mum's house the other day and we were looking at those pictures and there was me on the Teddy Bear's picnic and I showed you that one teddy. And you kept being weird about that photo and I didn't understand why. Now I understand. It had a tail that was really stiff. Stop talking. This is a really good one. This is a roller coaster. Okay. When I was in school, School, there was this girl I really liked. We lived on the same street and one day we were walking home together. She looked kind of sad, so I asked her if she was okay and I touched her shoulder. Are you okay? She then proceeded to violently push me away from her, telling me to stop coming onto her like a dirty fag. I then tripped and fell into a ditch and broke three bones. When I went back to school on Monday, she told the entire school that I tried to convince her that she was a lesbian and that she wanted to fuck me by brainwashing her. How the fuck is that meant to work? I was 15. After that, we never spoke, and needless to say, my crush on her was not a thing anymore. We then went off to uni and we never saw each other again. Until last week, when I went back down to where we grew up to see my parents. I was innocently buying cranberry sauce in Sainsbury's when there she was in front of me with her wife. <gasps>
That girl broke three bones and she ruined her reputation and she was a fucking secret gay. I hate secret gays like that. Fine to be a secret gay, fine, but fuck you for doing that to the other person. Well, maybe, hold on, maybe we should, maybe we should That girl, she she broke three bones. She did break three bones. And she told all the school that she brainwashed her. What I need to know, was there an offer on the cranberry sauce? I love how she's like, I was innocently buying cranberry sauce. I can't believe she broke three bones and that girl's gay brainwash oh bitch. my god bitch how internalized was her home phobia that she so touched bad. Her, she said, get off i guess we shouldn't sympathize at all with her at i all. don't not at all i don't not at all well i hope she's watching go to hell so i've got a horrible one that wasn't the horrible one this is worse in my opinion okay i'm excited a few years ago i was on a family holiday i was in the car with my mum, dad and my younger brother at the time i was reading a lot of fan fiction on this particular occasion the fic i was reading was a particularly spicy one basically it made me incredibly unbearably horny again I need to stress that I was in the car with my entire family I needed a release so I grabbed a blanket and masturbated slowly and silently I brought myself to orgasm with my entire family within arm's reach if any of them realized they never brought it up I'm not surprised can I just say one That's thing awful uh, okay your younger brother was there oh this is horrible I'm worried they knew why is this so familiar to me. Have I blocked something out that I've done? I think I've thought about doing it in exactly the same Did you do situation. It? No, I didn't. Did you? No, I didn't. We were ill once on the sofa. Really ill. Do you remember we were, we were ill? Yeah, both of us. And we didn't go we, Yeah, I 100% did it right there. And Was you I were, asleep? I think you were awake. Why? Don't act like you haven't done it. What was I doing? Don't act like you haven't done it when I, I'm in the house because I know that you have. Yeah, but not in the same room under a blanket. Well, you're just really dense, aren't you? And I'm very, very smart. That's horrible. Really? You're calling me horrible? Was my Valentine's Day present horrible too? Oh, babe, stop it. It was horrible. Hey, look, this is less confess. I can't expect people to confess if I don't also confess. There we are. Sorry, we're all human. Have I gone too far? Have I lost our subscribers? <laughs> You've lost my love. So I met a girl in a bar, we'll call her C, and after a couple of drinks and talking, we started to make out and it ended in sex at her place. Wow. We heard a car parking outside her house and a slamming car door in the middle of the second round. She immediately freaked out. C told me that her dad was a Navy SEAL who came home way too early and that he would obviously kill me. So I put my clothes back on as fast as I could and as soon as I wanted to walk out of her room, I heard her father coming into the house. Why can't they just be friends hanging out? I don't know, because okay. it's the middle of the night. Okay. There was only one escape possible. Pretend to be dead. To jump out of the window. It was 10 feet deep and I was prepared to die, but I made it. I rolled out and began to run. Right. You know why? Because they had a fucking dog. I climbed over the fence and I was saved. I was a little disappointed that I couldn't finish the second round, but hey, I live. Is that it? Did she ever see her again? No, they never did. I don't really understand why she had to jump out of the window. Oh, where did the dog come from? Maybe C wasn't enjoying the second round, was like, oh, you have to get out. Maybe that wasn't the dad. Maybe that was someone she hired, like an actor. Yeah. Oh, that's not very nice. I went round to a boy's house when I was really quite young, got naked. He took some pictures of me. We were doing stuff and then his mum came back. Instead of him just like introducing me, he was like, I'll distract my mum and you have to sneak out the front door. But anyway, I got dressed and I snuck out, but I didn't want to close the door properly because I didn't want to like slam the door. And then I went on MSN because that's how we used to communicate. I was like, did your mum see me escape? And he was like, no, but she just thought you were really weird and thought you were posting something through the door. And now I look back and think that was a horrible situation he put me in. Could have just introduced me to his mum. Are you all right? Like I said before, you've met really a lot mean. of people who haven't treated you well, no. myself included. And I just accepted it at the time. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm really glad that you had therapy and we made that video last week about all the trauma and that you're over it. Was that on your trauma timeline? No, but that's a horrible oh, we should have added it? it. We should have added it to horrible, your trauma. Yeah, it? it wasn't very nice. All right, Rosie, hit us with the last one. So there's this 22 year old science teacher at my school and I'm in my final year of sixth form. So there may be 18. Yeah, Are they 18? Yeah, 18. 22 and 18. Yeah. Everyone thinks she's straight, but I think otherwise. We were talking about kinks. Wow. And she told me that she was defo into BDSM scene. Okay, this is literally like, you cannot talk to students about this stuff. Right, and that she was in fact a dom. Okay. And she then got out of me that I'm a sub. Oh my God. She's been flirting with me throughout the year and inviting me out drinking with a few other teachers from the school. Oh I'm, my God. I'm 18 now. I don't know what to do, but every time we're together, she basically eye fucks me. Do I go for it when I leave in a couple of months? Yes. Is she actually into me? Yes, she is. Uh, yeah. But none of them should be telling you that what their kinks are. I mean, I don't know what advice to give this person. You could go for it. She clearly wants it. She clearly wants this it. This stuff has never ever happened to me. me why, why has my life been so dull? No offense. I've never had a situation where I thought this hot 22 year old teacher wants to sleep with yeah, me. Yeah, but your your teachers were fucking people in your year, Rose. Yeah, they, I got him Was it the same guy, but two different people? One person. Right. How did everyone know? He was because doing... they saw him 
kiss her at the train station. She was really hot as well. She was my friend. What an idiot teacher. Like of all the places no, to no, kiss. What an idiot man. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and if you want to leave us a confession, find it in the link below. It's Rosie's curious cat thing. You yeah. can submit one in the link below is what she means. Pretend to die. Okay. <laughs> Great, she's gone. <laughs> oh, I think I'm angry at you for the comment that you I made about the present. Let's make up. Please. Fine. No, no. Let's make up. If I wanted to make up, you'd know about it. I'd masturbate on my own. Ah!